What's cracking you two? My name's Brody and welcome to another Pokemon trading card game opening and today we're back with yet another Diamond and Pearl collection box. So I've already opened up one of these on my channel but um, when I purchased these I actually ordered three of these Diamond and Pearl collection boxes that you see in front of you right now and then two of the Regigigas Colossal boxes. So if you guys have not seen the Regigigas Colossal box I'll be sure to leave a link in the description of the video for you guys to check out that one and probably an iCard on screen as well because the pulls in that box was incredible. But then we've got this one here. So this box went up, the pulls weren't too flashy but it was really good to see the older packs being opened. But th this one has actually a lot of views on YouTube for one of my videos. I was very amazed. Like, at this current moment, I believe it has like 1500 views and I'm like, what? That's not one of my openings for sure. But in fact, it does. And I'll be sure to leave that one in the description of the video for you guys to check out as well. Um, but without further ado, that's all the like backstory. Let's move on to this one and get straight into it. So I will slowly go through things for the, the people that have not seen a Diamond Pearl collection box being opened before, considering it is 2016 and this box was released like years ago. It was like, let's have a look at the back of the box and see exactly when it was released. But yeah, it says just down in the corner or somewhere on here, just there. So it says it was released in 2008. So yeah, what's that, like eight years ago. So yeah, check this guys. So let, once again, let's have a nice look at this. So we've got Lucario, Magmora, Weavile, Darkrai, Empoleon, and Luxray on the back of the box art. And yeah, feel free to pause and have a read of that text there if you would like to. But yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into the unboxing of this box. So yeah, the shrink wrappers of it came completely sealed, so it's completely untampered with. Um, and from what I remember from my previous um, Diamond Pearl Collection Box opening that I did, it is really, really well packaged. Like, it comes in this neat little, like, black casing and stuff. You guys won't be able to see it too well from um, the camera angle that it's on right now. I'll probably move it back just a little bit there. And let's get everything, come on, come on, there we go, everything out, there goes there, alrighty, so let's go through these coins once again, so we've got three of the same kind of coin, let me see if I can get some nice, a nice shot of these, um, but yeah, so there, they've got the, um, platinum starters, diamond pearl platinum starters with Piplip, Turtwig and Chimchar, so this is like a metallic green one. Then we've got like a metallic -y, pinky red one. Same art on it once again. And then we've got like a metallic -y blue as well. So they're pretty cool. They're a little bit smaller than the coins that we have nowadays. But yeah, I'll throw those ones just off to the side. And let's get all these, all the content out. And then we'll go through it all really quickly. Really, really quickly. So yeah, I still haven't done my homework on these uh, collection boxes and seen what uh, what the packs were released in, like what order from like newest to oldest, so we could have done that sort of thing. But I'll remember that for the final one that I have. But yeah, let's move this camera forwards now. And let's go through the promos very quickly, just once again. So I've got a Professor Rowan, um, it's like a promo holo, I guess you'd say. It's from it's from one of the sets, but it's like an alternate holo. So they throw this one in the uh, collection boxes to kind of drive you to want to go buy this thing just for these featured holos. But we've got a Professor Rowan, BB Search, Cynthia's Feelings. Then we've got the Chimchar, Kill Kill, cool. Turtwig, and a Piplup. So yeah, they're all holographic, as you guys can see. It looks pretty pretty sweet on can there. And they're not bad by any means. Slightly curved, as you would expect for something that's about eight years old now. But um, let's throw these just up the back here. And then we'll go through the pack art and see those things, because that's what you guys are here to see today. These diamond and pearl packs. But wow, check that out, guys. So we have a Rhyperia pack art from Legends Awaken. We've got a Rose Raid pack art from Secret Wonders. I believe I had this one last time as well. 
We got a Lucario Packard from Diamond Pop Base. Uh, the three... Uh, I can't even remember what the, this trio is called. Let me know in the comment section below what this trio is called. But we got Azelf, Mesprit, and Yuxi on this pack art. And then we've got... Oh, uh, that one's the Mysterious Treasures, sorry. And then we got the Majestic Dawn pack art with Empoleon. And the Great Encounters pack art with Dialga. So I reckon we're going to go in... Let's go from... Last, we want to open up Mysterious Treasures. Then we'll go... Oh, no, we'll go... Legends Awakened, Majestic Dawn, Great Encounters, Mysterious Treasures, Secret Wonders, and Base Set First. Awesome. So let's do that. And let's see what we can get from these older packs today. Hopefully you guys are hyped to see these older packs being opened once again. Even though it's the same product, I tried to go through it as quick as I could um, for the newer viewers. But um, yeah, hopefully you guys are hyped to see these older cards being opened. Because I know I am after... Even just seeing the arts, even though the pulls weren't crazy in the last one, I still really enjoyed opening it. So from what I believe, it is still 3 and 2, even back in the East. They just don't come with codes, that's all. So let's knock this camera down just a little bit more. Cool. So we've got a Combi. Baneri. Golding. Mischievous. Marchop. A double full heal. Hippopotas. Cherum. We've got a reverse Seedot with Bite and Rollout. That one is just a common. And the rare in the pack is... A Holo Staraptor. Awesome. So we got some shiny old goodness. Check this, guys. So it is Staraptor, level 54. It has 100 HP with with Accelerative, Dive, and Brave Heart. That one's number 16 out of 130 as well. But yeah, check that out, guys. What an amazing, an amazing looking card that one is. Staraptor. Awesome. So now let's move on to Secret Wonders. So it would be awesome to pull another level X out of one of these packs because I believe the go the go to's is your hollows and your level X's in the Diamond and Pearl series, um, and I believe there are secret rares in certain sets, but um, I'm not exactly too sure. I really need to do some homework on my Diamond and Pearl series, but um, yeah, let's continue on with Secret Wonders. So we have a common switch. We've got Lotad. Pidgey. Interesting art, that one. We've got Sunken. Natu. Smeargle. Flappy. I like that card. I do like that one. We've got Roseanne's Research. Not bad. So what's in this art? we got uh, Professor Rowan Chant back there. Piplup. with some weird little thing up in the corner there. I don't even know. Don't even know. Then we've got a reverse rare Nido King, level 55 with 130 HP with Poison Rub and Pride Attack. See if I can get a good shot of that for you guys, for you guys that would like to read. And then the rare in the pack is a Pidgeot regular rare, but that is A-OK. -okay. That looks pretty sweet. Pretty sweet art. I love, um, always love Pidgeot. Always love Pidgeot. So it's got 120 HP with Mirror Move and Whirlwind. And that one's number 35 out of 132. Not even bad, you guys. Not even bad. So let's move on to Mysterious Treasures. The three legendary whatever they are <laughs> on the pack art. But let's continue. I've managed to save every single pack art so far as well, and that's pretty, pretty sweet. So I wonder what we can get from Mysterious Treasures today. So we've got a Teddy Ursa level 20. A Snowbar level 20. Electrite. Sphere. Magby. Golbat. A Metal Energy. Dunsparce. 
That's sad face. We've got a reverse Mr. Mime, and this one is also a rare. Not even bad. It's got 70 HP. It's level 33 with the Poke Body, Airy Wall, and Trick Play. But yeah, those reverses are so dark, eh? There we go. That's a nice shot in the light. Awesome. And the rare in the pack is a Multi Energy. So yeah, back in these Diamond Pearl series, you can get the multi energies as your rare so it's all it's like a dud deadish but yeah feel free to pause and have a read of that one if you would like as you guys can see in the bottom corner it is in fact the rare but yeah but yeah that is that is or it's all luck of the draw all luck of the draw but next up we've got the diamond and pearl great and encounters pack art but yeah one of the viewers in my last uh collection box opening mentioned that they were missing Diamond and Pearl Stormfront, and I believe possibly the reasoning behind that would be that Stormfront wasn't released when this box was released initially. I'd say I'd say it was released after, so it had every single pack up to Stormfront potentially. But check out that Phoebus. That's so plain. Um, but yeah, that, that's my... I, I'd have to look it up, but I that's what I think, just going off, realizing that they didn't include Stormfront, and it says on the packaging that in, it includes uh, one of every Diamond Pearl series pack. But yeah, we've got Cacturn. We've got a Reverse Common Slugma with Steady Fire Breathing and Body Slam. And the rare is... A Butterfree. This one's just a regular rare. So it's level 36 with 120 HP with Parallel Drain and Dozing Scales. Not bad. Nice looking art. It's like kind of hand drawn. Not even bad. Not even bad, you guys. So the second last pack of this collection box, we have Majestic Dawn. Majestic Dawn. And I think... I have saved yet another, oh, yet another pack art. Oh, awesome. Sweet. It's not very often I get to open up these uh, uh, Diamond Pearl series packs, so I'm trying to preserve the pack art, just even just a little bit. But awesome. So we have a Pikachu level 12. Check that art. That looks pretty, pretty sweet. It's got Quick Attack and Vault Tackle. Then we've got a Kirby. Baneri, Drifloon, Kabuto, Energy Restore, Scyther, Monferno, not even bad, that all looks pretty sweet as well, love that, with Fire Fang and a Mid-Air Strike. We've got a Reverse Rare, I can already tell this is a Rare just by looking at it, and it is a Legendary. So we got Cresselia level 43 with 70 HP with Future Sight and Healing Light. Awesome. And the rare in the pack is... A non-holo Sizzle. Non-holo Sizzle. So we got three Psychic type reverse rares up the back there. That's crazy. That is crazy. But um, yeah, 90 HP with Special Blow and X Sizzle. X Sizzle. Sorry, not X is all. <laughs> lol, lol, lol. Anyway, moving on to the final pack of this Diamond and Pearl collection box. We have Legends Awakened. Let's crack into this pack. Whoops, there we go. Didn't quite manage to save this one, but I'll use my letter opener here to complete the saving process. There we go. Sweet. And let's go. Let's see if we can end this on some last pack magic here. So we have a Meow. Pretty dopey looking art. Um, a Chinchow. Oddish. Gloom. Hitmonlee. Unknown R. With the Poke Power Retire. Lucario. Starmie. 
We've got a reverse uncommon Metang, level 24, agility and metal claw. And the rare in the pack is a regular rare low bunny. So yeah, once again, not the greatest pulls out of uh, these Diamond Pearl collection, well, this second Diamond Pearl collection box. Um, but we do still have one more to open, which is always nice. But this one has the Pokebody Healing Tail and Collect, with like no energy cost there, draw three cards, and Cross Cut. But yeah, once again, not the greatest pulls. But I did rather enjoy um, seeing these older card arts. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing these older card arts as well. But before we end the video, I'll just quickly go through everything once again, what we got in this box today. So we got the coins just kind of chilling here. And then we've got the pulls, or well we got the featured promos to kick it off. We got Professor Rowan, BB Search, Cynthia's Feelings, Chimchar, Turtwig, and Piplop. And then we've got the pulls from the booster packs. We got the reverse rare Cresselia, reverse rare Mr. Mime, reverse rare Nido King, and then we've got the hollow Staraptor, which isn't even bad at all. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think of the old school hollow pattern on there. If you guys can get a good shot of that in the light, you kind of see it's like kind of dotty and stuff. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. But if you guys enjoyed seeing these older Diamond and Pearl series packs being opened, be sure to drop a like down below. Let me in the let me know in the comment section below about that uh, strapped a hollow pattern. And subscribe if you're new to my channel or if you just enjoyed today's opening. And I look forward to seeing you guys in another one of my Pokemon trading card game openings. Thanks for watching. Peace.